I'm super excited for today's video because in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my very favorite fragrance brands, and that is the House of Zerzhov. So if you're interested in hearing about the Zerzhov fragrances in my collection and how I rank them, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do wanna quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos mainly about fragrance, but also some beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, we'll be talking about the House of Zerzhov. I have 16 fragrances from the house in my collection. One of them is brand new to me, so that one will not be ranked, we'll do that one first. And then after that, I will be briefly talking about all the fragrances in my collection, going from my least favorite to my most favorite. But I will say, all of these are loves for me, okay? Zerzhov is one of my favorite brands, and it's actually the brand that I have the most fragrances from, excluding Tom Ford. I have more from Tom Ford, but next in line is Zerzhov. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So as I said, the first fragrance we're gonna talk about is one that I actually have not even opened yet. I just got this the other day. I did have a sample of this, and that's why I ordered it, but we're gonna open it here, and I'm gonna briefly tell you about it. So here's the gorgeous box. And if you've never seen Zerzhov packaging before, they have amazing packaging. This one comes in this like coffret. So you open it up and then the fragrance is in here with these felt papers. I mean, it, the packaging is just top notch on Zerzhov. And then the fragrance is lying there inside. So this fragrance is Decus. And like I said, I had a sample of this. I sprayed it on my hand one time and decided to go ahead and order it. I liked it that much at first spray. So keep in mind, I have not worn this fragrance fully. I've only sprayed a sample on my hand. So I can't talk too much about it, but I will tell you what I'm smelling right now. So to me, this is a sweet kind of citrusy fragrance. I immediately smell a mix of citrus fruits. So it is a little tart, but mainly like a sweet citrus. It's beautiful. This fragrance also smells quite airy. Again, I have not worn this, so <laughs> take this with a grain of salt, but it smells quite airy. It smells like it's gonna be perfect for summertime and I can't wait to wear it. I think this is going to be a hot weather staple for me. And it's a citrus that doesn't lean masculine in my opinion. It's not too sharp. It's very smooth and sweet. And this is a fragrance I think is a more special citrus fragrance. So that first one is Decus, brand new, not in my ranking, but I definitely wanted to mention it since I just got it. So I have 15 more fragrances to share with you. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not spending a lot of time on each of these fragrances because there's 15 of them, okay? We're not gonna be sitting here for an hour. So in the 15th spot, I have Fiore di Ulivo. And this is part of the Cosmorati line from Zerzhov. This one is a fragrance that smells like a soap to me. So it has an olive note in here, but it doesn't really smell like olive oil, but you can definitely detect the olive. So if you're completely against that, you will not like this. But to me, this smells like a luxurious, almond and maybe honey soap. So it's sweet and floral and a little bit of olive, but overall it smells like a luxurious body soap. I love this, but it's not one that I feel like I necessarily have to have. It was kind of one of those things that I got it because it was at a really good deal, but I do really enjoy it. It's just number 15 because I don't think it's extremely special. This is one of those ones that is like a fresh out of the shower scent for me, but I do really enjoy it. So if you're looking for that type of scent, I would recommend it. It is very well done. And like I said, it smells like luxurious soap. So again, that is Fiore di Ulivo. For number 14, I have a very popular one. This one is Overture. So this one is one that I find a bit difficult to explain. When I smell it, I get like a big mix of things. So I feel like I can pick up on a fig note and to me, this fig smells a little bit grassy. I also feel like I smell some coconut in here. There's definitely some spices some woods, and I find this to be kind of a darker scent, but it's kind of also tropical with that fig kind of coconut mix. It is really beautiful. 
it's just one that I feel like I haven't really bonded with. Like I kind of don't ever know where I should wear this fragrance. It feels a little bit more formal to me and I don't do that many formal things. And when I do, I just feel like I tend to go for other fragrances in my collection, but it is gorgeous. I would highly recommend this fragrance. I think it's worth all the hype that it gets. It's just number 14 for me just because I don't really feel like I have a deep bond with it but I'm not trying to get rid of it either because I do love the way it smells. So again, that is Ouverture. Number 13 is another very popular one from the house and this is La Capitale. So this one is a strawberry caramel leathery type scent. The strawberry in this smells quite good and lush and realistic smelling. It doesn't smell chemically like most strawberry scents that I've smelled. It doesn't have that strawberry shortcake type smell. This smells like the actual fruit strawberry mixed with this beautiful caramel scent. And then the leathery tones that are in this don't even really feel like full on leather in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's leather or if it's saffron. The way it smells to me kind of smells like it could be saffron where it's giving off that leathery spicy smell but it's not full on leather. This is really gorgeous. It's really well done. But again, this is just one that I haven't bonded with a whole lot. I haven't worn it a lot. I don't know why. I do love it. I'm not getting rid of it, but I need to figure out a time to wear it because I, I need to just put this on my fragrance tray and just go for the gusto. Because again, I feel like this is kind of more of a sexy scent, more of a date night scent, but it's not one that I have ever worn on a date. <laughs> I should just wear it during the day and go for it because I know a lot of people love this. And again, I love it too. It's just not one that I have fully bonded with, but it is an amazing scent. So again, that is La Capitale. For number 12, we have Golden Dalla, and this is from the Coffee Break Collection. So this fragrance does have a coffee note in it, but for me, I don't necessarily think this is 100% like coffee focused. To me, this is more of a spicy scent. So think kitchen spices, think Indian spices. Those type of spices mixed with the coffee note, very deep, very kind of smoky, kind of incense-y. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love this fragrance. It's a very standout type fragrance and I feel like you have to have a bold personality to wear a fragrance like this. I mean, I don't have that much of a bold personality to be honest, but I do like my bold fragrances. So let's just say you have to like bold fragrances to like something like this. This one is definitely unisex, but may lean very slightly masculine. So if you are into super girly scents, this is not gonna be the scent for you. And you have to be a lover of spice to like this. Now, I do love this fragrance. This is one of my first Zerzhoff purchases, but because it is so deep and spicy it's one that has to be cold for me to wear it and we don't have that many cold days so I don't find myself wearing it that often but again I love it I feel like it's quite unique I definitely would like to keep it around for those times when I am able to wear it and I would recommend it especially if you live somewhere cold and you want something that's spicy and very unique I definitely think this is one that you should get your nose on so again, that is Golden Dollar. So for number 11, I have a fragrance that used to be very high up on my list of favorite fragrances, but it has dropped down. I really don't wear it that much anymore. It's still a love for me, y'all, but I do recognize this is one that used to be probably like top three of my Zerzhoff collection and now it's all the way at number 11. So this is none other than Cruise Del Sur 2. So this is a beautiful like milky mango with some nutty nuances to it as well. It smells sweet and syrupy, but definitely lactonic. So whenever I think about this fragrance, I think about like overripe mangoes covered in syrup with some cream, like whipped cream or something. It's delicious smelling, it honestly is. When I smell this fragrance, it definitely makes me think of summer. And I do smell this fragrance quite a lot. Like I go to it in my collection and smell it quite a lot, but I don't wear it that much anymore. But I don't know if y'all can see that dent. I have worn this fragrance a lot, but that dent was probably mostly put in when I first got it, like within the first six months of me having it, I wore it a ton. And then I kind of just stopped wearing it, but I do still love it. It's still one that I think you should try if you like mango, but I wouldn't call this a safe blind buy at all because of that milky note in it. It's just not gonna work for some people, but it does work for me. So again, that is Cruz Del Sur 2. So we're in my top 10 now, and in the number 10 spot is probably, 
I think it would be the most popular fragrance from the brand. This is none other than Lyra. So this again is part of the Cosmorati line. And like I said, this one is super popular, especially in the fragrance community on YouTube and Instagram. This is gorgeous. Now this is definitely one that I think is a safe blind buy from Zerzhoff if you like sweet scents. When I smell this, I get lemon cookies. I believe there's a blood orange note in this fragrance. I don't even know if lemon is a note in this fragrance, but when I smell this, I get lemon and caramel cookies. It is so delicious and sweet smelling. And it has this kind of, I don't wanna say bread-like vibe, but definitely like a cookie a cookie type vibe to it. It's gorgeous. It's very sweet, but it has that zestiness from the citrus. And to me, it kind of stays the same throughout the life of the fragrance. So this is one that I think, although it's sweet, I feel like I can wear this year round. I typically like to wear this to bed. I don't know why, <laughs> but I like to smell like a cookie going to bed apparently. But I feel like you can wear this one year round, even though it is a sweet scent. So if you're into your sweet gourmand scents, Lyra is definitely one you need to try. Number nine is Symphonium. So this fragrance is kind of newer to my collection. I've probably had it for maybe six months or so, but this is an orange and chocolate delicious smelling scent this smells luxurious like i know i'm saying orange and chocolate that sounds so simple but i'm telling you the way this one is done is something that says luxury it's a luxury gourmand <laughs> I believe this has oud in it as well, but if you're not into oud, don't let that scare you because everything is just so smooth, so well blended in this fragrance. And I think the oud just adds like a woody base to it, gives it a little bit more oomph. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't had a chance to wear it that much because I do think this is more suited for cold weather. However, it's not extremely heavy though. So I may try to wear it on a warmer day if I'm gonna be out inside just to see how it does. Um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. So again, that is Symphonium. Number eight is Naxos. So again, this one is very popular, but I find this to be very popular with men in the fragrance community. This has been around a while. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it anymore, but when I do hear people talk about it, it's mainly men. There are a couple of ladies that I watch that love this fragrance too, like Nisha, Spicy Looks, and Denise Adore, she loves this as well. But for the most part, I hear men talk about this, but ladies, if you like tobacco and honey scents, this is one you should try. So tobacco and honey are the main notes in this to me, but the way the honey is in this, it is just something special. It's not too heavy, it doesn't turn animalic. It's just very like pure smelling and sweet. And then the tobacco is not very sharp. It is a little bit spicy like tobacco is, but it's all very well rounded. There is also some lavender in this fragrance that I get a lot more in the opening of the fragrance that gives it a bit of an aromatic touch. But overall, this just blends so well together. And this is actually a honey tobacco scent that I feel like works perfectly in hot weather as well as it does in cold weather. This one I wore on a hot day. It was so good, y'all. Like I was at an outdoor mall and I smelled something. I was walking around a store at the time and I smelled something. I was thinking, man, somebody smells good. And then I realized it was me. And that was a great surprise. <laughs> so if you have this, don't be scared to wear in a hot weather. I wouldn't overspray in hot weather, especially if you're a woman, but it works year round for me and I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna be wearing this this week. So again, that is Naxos. Number seven is Starlight. And I love the bottle on this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has these little X's all over it. It's gorgeous. So this is my favorite cardamom scent hands down. If you love cardamom, this is one you need to get your nose on. I, I honestly feel like if you are a cardamom lover, you can blind buy this one. It is so beautiful smelling. So the cardamom is the main feature in this fragrance for me. It is smooth, it is spicy, but it's not overdone, it's not overbearing. This fragrance also smells a little bit sweet. I'm not sure if it has vanilla in there. I know it has some florals in this fragrance as well, but to me, I don't smell any florals. To me, it just smells like smooth, silky cardamom with a woody background to kind of balance it all. 
it's gorgeous. It's not extremely heavy. So although the star of this show is cardamom, which is a spice that I more so associate with winter, the way that this is done, I feel like it can be worn year round. I have worn it in the heat on accident. Like I wore it thinking it was gonna be cold. And then I got outside and it warmed up real quick on me. <laughs> and it, did, it wasn't too much. It never bothered me. It still smelled good even in the heat. And I would say that was in the winter, but I think it probably got up to around like between 75 and 80 degrees and I had on a sweater and it wasn't too much y'all it was not too much gorgeous so if you love cardamom I mean you can just buy this like just add to cart right now <laughs> and thank me later okay any cardamom lover I don't see how you wouldn't love this one so again that is starlight so number six is a Cento overdose so this one is a beautiful like aldehyde floral fruity scent when I first smell this, I get like a blast of sweet fruits and they smell almost candy-like. This fragrance also has these beautiful aldehydes in it that give it this clean vibe, but not necessarily soapy. And then there's florals in this fragrance as well. This is a very ladylike scent, but it still is very unique, very different, very out there like this is not what something you're going to smell on the average person and i love it this also lasts forever especially on the clothes but it's not extremely overpowering people will definitely smell this fragrance on you and it's very present but it's one of those fragrances that is so well-rounded it's so like soft edges I don't think it would offend anyone even though it is a quite present scent so even if you overspray i feel like People will just love the way you smell. I don't think I don't think it would ever be too strong for someone. That's just my opinion. I don't know for sure, but this is absolutely gorgeous. So again, that is a Cento overdose. All right, we're at this top five. And let me just say before I do number five, this whole list was pretty hard for me to rank because I love all of these fragrances. And the top five especially was very hard for me. So take these rankings with a grain of salt. I love them all. <laughs> but just know that these rankings could change any time for me. So number five, we have Herba Pura, which again is a very popular one from the brand, but it's one that I did not try until last year. And last summer, me and Herba Pura, we were, we were in a relationship. I love this fragrance. So this one opens up like a bowl of sweet fruits and it smells like kind of tropical fruits, but I can't really pinpoint a specific fruit. It just smells like a mix of some good juicy, juicy fruits. However, this fragrance does have an ambery musky base that is not as present when you first spray it, but in the dry down, the ambery musky base definitely comes out more. The sweet fruits are still there, but it's not necessarily the safest blind buy in my opinion, because I know for some people they can't get down with the ambery musky base, but I think the ambery musky base makes this smell really interesting. It keeps it unisex. I feel like if it didn't have that, I couldn't really picture a man wearing this, but the ambery musky base keeps it square in the middle of unisex for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think this one is perfect for hot weather, but it performs so well that you could definitely wear this in colder weather too. Like there will be no performance issues with this fragrance. But for me, I prefer it in warmer weather, especially if there's a breeze and I'm going to be outside. I think it just smells so great on the skin. So again, that is Herba Pura. Number four, we have Dama Bianca. So this is probably my most ladylike scent out of this bunch. I mean, a Chinta Overdose is pretty ladylike too, but I think of this one as a very feminine, girly scent, but it's one that I really love. So this is a vanilla scent to me, but it also has some florals in here and it has a beautiful Kumquat note. So Kumquat is a citrus note that is not seen in a lot of different fragrances. So I feel like it just makes it smell very unique. I think there's also a lime note in this fragrance as well that kind of gives it a bit of a summery vibe. The fruits in this fragrance give it a bit of a summery vibe, even though it is vanilla. The vanilla in this fragrance is extremely well done, y'all. When I used to hear about this fragrance, I never thought it was for me because I thought it was just a floral vanilla fragrance and I'm not a big floral fan. It sounded kind of boring to me. So I was surprised that when I got this in that this vanilla is top notch. The vanilla is a little spicy, a slight bit boozy, a slight bit powdery 
but not too much. Like the it blends so well all together. I think the fact that the vanilla in this is more of a kind of spicy vanilla, not necessarily cupcakey vanilla. I think this makes this fragrance just that much better. So again, that is Dama Bianca. Number three is Ivory Root. Now Ivory Root is part of the Join the Club collection from Zerjoff. All the fragrances in that collection, the notes are vaulted, meaning Zerjoff has not told anybody what notes are in the fragrance. So the notes that you're gonna see on the screen are from Fragrantica, but there is no confirmation that those notes are correct. And I honestly don't feel like they're correct myself, but I'm gonna put them there so y'all can see it. But when I smell this fragrance, what I get is a beautiful, spicy vanilla. To me, when I first spray this, I get a lot of spice. But once the fragrance starts to dry on the skin, the vanilla starts coming out. And the longer the fragrance wears, it becomes more of a vanilla with some spices in it, as opposed to more spicy with some vanilla in the background. Hopefully that makes sense to y'all. But the spices in this are very unique spices. So it's not a boring, spicy vanilla. The spices smell like like I feel like I could smell like bay leaf or basil, like those type of fresh kind of Italian spices. And I also feel like I could smell pepper, like black pepper in it, but it just all comes together really well. So even though the spices are quite kind of more unique spices to mix with vanilla, the way that it's all done just works y'all. And this lasts forever, it performs really well. So I think if you are a vanilla lover, get this one. It's not a cupcake vanilla, but if you like your spicy vanillas, this needs to be in your collection. So again, that is Ivory Root. Number two is Dolce Amalfi. Y'all, it was really hard for me not to make this number one, but <laughs> it's number two. It could switch. I don't know, but this is gorgeous. This is my spicy, juicy fruit gum fragrance. So it's spicy and it's sweet. I get a lot of like tropical fruit smell. Quince is the main fruit in this fragrance, which I don't really know how that smells, but basically what I get is a tropical fruit smell that is sweet, but it's mixed with these gorgeous Christmassy type spices. So think cloves, think cardamom, think nutmeg, those type of spices mixed with this gorgeous tropical fruit. They don't sound like they would go together and they probably shouldn't, but they go together so well in this, y'all. This is very unique. I love this fragrance. I think it can be worn year round. Even though I tend to reach for it more in warmer weather, I definitely think this is strong enough that it can be worn year round. I have heard some people say that this doesn't perform on them and I have no idea why. Like I don't need a lot of sprays of this. This performs really well on my skin. Maybe it's my climate, I don't know, but it smells amazing on me, lasts all day. I always get compliments when I wear it and it's gorgeous. So again, that is Dolce Amalfi. And the number one spot goes to the controversial Italica. <laughs> so this fragrance, I absolutely love y'all. It is a sweet gourmand fragrance. To me, when I smell this, I get a milky almond toffee praline scent. This is delicious smelling to me. It smells like an almond croissant with some milk on the side, y'all. It smells delicious to me. There's also a saffron note in this fragrance. And initially I didn't get the saffron, but now when I smell it, I do get the saffron. It just adds some light spiciness to this and keeps it interesting, y'all. I love this fragrance. To me, it smells like a literal gourmand. So I would say if you don't like gourmands that smell like actual food, this ain't gonna be for you, honey. This smells like actual food, but very elevated. Like whenever I smell this, I think of a French bakery. I've never been in an authentic French bakery, <laughs> but that's the vibes it gives me. Amazing, y'all. It smells so delicious. This is one that I sniff all the time. I wear it to bed because I love the way it smells that much. I've worn it during the day. I've worn it when it's hot. I've worn it when it's cold. And it just works for me. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this scent. I just love the way it smells so much. So if you can get your nose on this, do it, especially if you love sweet gourmands and you love almond fragrances and you're okay with the milky note, then you should definitely get your nose on this. At least check out a sample, it's gorgeous. So again, that is Italica at my number one spot. So this video was really fun for me to film, although it was hard for me to rank these fragrances because like I said, I love them all. But this was really fun for me to film. 
Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you try any of the fragrances that I mentioned. What's your favorite fragrance from Zerzhoff? Have you gotten into the house of Zerzhoff yet or are they not your vibe? Let us know all that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I typically upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I have tons of content on my channel that you can check out on your free time. Also, go ahead and check out my website. It's www.simplyaisha.com. I have some posts over over there it's still a work in progress but i would love for you all to get on my email list over there so we can connect on that level as well also if you want to connect with me a little bit more follow me over on instagram i'm always in my stories pretty much every day and i love to chit chat with y'all in my dms and i just like to keep it very chill on instagram i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye